Dog, you're making $3,360 a week, bro. That's it. Bro, niggas, niggas who graduated college don't even make that, bro. I'm about to put y'all on what I used to do, and I guarantee you, bro, if you don't do this, you're gonna remain broke. What is good YouTube, it's your buddy, you're back at it again with another video, man. And in today's video, I'm gonna be putting y'all on on how to make money as a team. You already know, man, before we get into the video, make sure y'all go smack that like button, hit that subscribe button, turn that post notification on, and also go ahead and follow me on Instagram. And with that being said, let's get straight into the video. I'm making this video because a lot of people kept asking me what I was doing before my clothing brand on Instagram and stuff like that, or how I was making money, I was able to afford shoes and like clothes and stuff like that. So I'm about to put y'all on what I used to do. And I guarantee you, bro, if you don't do this, you're gonna remain broke. You know what I'm saying? This is really for my youngest, you know what I'm saying? This is for the young people who don't wanna go to work. Cause, but I understand you don't wanna work in nine to five. Like I could see why, you know what I'm saying? You ain't trying to get controlled. You ain't trying to, you feel me? So you kind of wanna be an entrepreneur. I'm gonna put you on on how to do it. So yeah, let's get on to the first one. First things first, man, before we even get into it, bro, I'm gonna put y'all on to a little to a little thought process before you try to make money, right? You make money by providing service, okay? Don't chase money. We do not chase money out here. We make money by providing service, right? So for example, you wash somebody's car, you're providing service to the person because they don't want to wash their car, so you get paid for that. So if any of y'all, even if I give y'all this whole list and y'all don't want to do none of this, just by me saying that, you make money by providing service, you should be able to go make money. Feel me? Like you basically to make money, you have to help somebody. Help somebody do something that they cannot do or don't feel like doing or may not know they can do. You help them doing that. You feel me? So with that being said, let's let's really get deep into it. First things first that I guarantee y'all y'all can do today, right now, at this moment is go sell your old clothes on Depop, bro. Listen, for all of my fashion people on here, I know I got fashion people on here because this is a fashion channel. Sell your old clothes you don't wear no more, your old shoes, your old clothes. Bro, that's like a free like $30 out of your closet. You don't wear it anyway, so you just got a free $30. Sell your clothes, bro. Any shoes you don't wear, any shoes that don't fit, clothes that don't fit, bro, go through it. You feel me? It's so easy to sell clothes on Depop. I'm gonna give you a little, a little tip too. When you sell clothes on Depop, don't just take a picture of it on the floor. You feel me? Take a nice, aesthetically pleasing picture. Picture, you know what I'm saying? Make the shirt even look nicer. You know, what I'm if you really want to go edit the picture, go edit the picture. Turn the saturation up so the shirt look like it's more colorful and stuff like that. I guarantee you somebody will buy it. You know what I'm saying? If not that, then just take the shirt or take the pair of pants and go outside in the sun. Take some pictures with it. You feel me? Make the person see the shirt in like a way they could do it too. You feel me? Like the shirt could be really just a simple shirt with like hella graphic, right? But you putting it on with a fire outfit makes somebody else want to buy it more because you made it look good. You feel me? You made you gave the shirt more value than it is just sitting on a random floor you feel me so hey sell your shoes on depop you can sell on depop you can sell on grilled you can sell it on mercury like there's hella apps that you could just resell your clothes on bro go in that closet i know you got clothes in that closet but go in that closet don't be lazy don't think oh nobody gonna buy this blah blah but there's people out here trying to buy clothes and stuff like that all over the place even i bought clothes from depop so hey tell you go in that closet get some old clothes old shoes go ahead and sell them can't see somebody gonna buy it Next up on the list, man, it's kind of similar to the last one, but it's become a thrift seller. You know what I'm saying? Let me explain y'all how you do it. So either you make a Depop or you make an Instagram account, right? What you're going to do is you're going to go around your whole entire city, bro. Yes, you're going to, you know what I'm saying? Making money, you know what I'm saying? You might need to do a little work, you feel me? Because as long as that check coming back, you good, bro. You're going to go to the thrift store, you know what I'm saying? You want to look for fire piece of clothing, bro. Especially pants. I guarantee y'all do pants a lot because it's easy to find pants at the thrift store, especially jeans and stuff like that. It's easy and then you could just go flip it back on Depop for like $30 profit, you know what I'm saying? Go look around your whole entire city, look up online, look up the ratings of like the best thrift stores. Go on TikTok, look up the best thrift stores in your city. If you live like in the suburbs or something like that, go in the main city of your state, you know what I'm saying? And then go in thrift stores. I guarantee you will find pieces. Look for vintage pieces, look for expensive pieces, look for luxurious pieces. You're gonna find something. And what you wanna do is go on Depop, sell them. 
like I said before, take some fire pictures, right? I'm saying you could take pictures of them on, or you could take them on the floor, but make sure if you're taking pictures on the floor, make sure it look good, you know what I'm saying? Make sure it's like cool little background, good lighting, you feel me? Edit it a little bit. If you gotta add a blur to it, you know what I'm saying? Edit it real good, you know what I'm saying? Post it on Depop, and I guarantee you on Grail Depop. Make an Instagram too, like I said, make a thrift Instagram. For those of y'all who have followers, bro, use your followers, use them, bro. Make a thrift page, post it on your story of your main story. Put them onto the thrift account that you just created. Sell your clothes. I'm telling you people will buy it bro people will buy it nobody likes walking into stores no more everybody buys stuff online and if anything people buy stuff for even cheaper so and your clothes should not be like OD price like don't go to the thrift store and find some regular blue jeans that try to sell them for $80 bro like I don't know about that they better be Carhartt man you know what they better be Levi 501s for you to be selling them for like $90 next up on the list man something that all of y'all probably like <laughs> duh Start a clothing brand, bro. Yes, I know the clothing brand industry, whatever you want to call it, is very saturated. Too many people are starting with clothing brands. But I'm not gonna lie, it's easy, but it's not easy, if that makes sense. It's easy to make a clothing brand. It's easy to get some products. It's easy to, you know what I'm saying, like, really create something, you feel me? Like, I made this. Like, it's easy if you wanted to do it. It's easy for you to get this in your hand within a month of you really making it. But the hard part is getting sales, right? But it's like, it's possible though. You feel me? It's possible with the power of TikTok, with the power of ads, blah, blah, blah. Like, you gonna make some money. You feel me? If you make a clothing brand, you're guaranteed to at least make some money from it. Make a clothing brand, bro. You never know what might happen. You feel me? If you wanna put your all into it, bro, make a clothing brand. I made a video on how to start a clothing brand. Y'all should click. I think it's right here. Oh, right here. I don't know. Whichever one it is, click that, bro. Go watch the video post a lot of tiktoks about your clothing brand you feel me this is more of a time taking thing you feel me it's not gonna come overnight you can you can get it to come overnight though you know what i'm saying posting good content about your, your stuff you feel me you can but for it to be successful it's gonna take time but y'all get the point though make a clothing brand bro i've been preaching this forever make a clothing brand and just stick to it go crazy bro again to you you're gonna make some rare for me so yeah let's go on to the next on to the next man i cannot stress this one enough bro i understand i just said make a clothing brand but i'm gonna bring this up too everybody's trying to make a clothing brand and i don't get it because i feel like a lot of people are also talented in other ways but they're just stuck on this clothing brand because it looked like fast money which is not but bro use your skills bro if you're smart you can make a patreon teaching niggas you know what i'm saying teaching niggas knowledge if you're good at editing youtube videos bro nigga you could even slide into my dms talking about hey bro i edit videos for like 20 30 dollars you feel me like Tap in with me, I'll edit your videos, bro. I send you the video, you edit it. Each day you get like $30. Market yourself on TikTok, bro. You can get 16 clients. 30 times 16, what the fuck is that? 30 times 16, you got $480, bro. You feel me? And that's just 16 clients, you know what I'm saying? You don't know how many videos the motherfuckers like uploaded in a day. You don't know how many they upload in a week. Imagine you got 16 clients and they upload it every single day. That is OD videos for you. But watch this, dog. You're making three thousand three hundred sixty dollars a week, bro. That's it, bro. Niggas, niggas who graduated college don't even make that, bro. You know what I'm saying? So y'all really gotta think about it. You could edit videos. You can even edit thumbnails, bro. A lot of people make thumbnails, bro. Edit thumbnails, charge like ten dollars, bro. I guarantee you, people gonna come to you as long as you market yourself. And we got TikTok for that. As long as you market yourself, people are gonna find you. You can make, uh, for example, clothing brands. Clothing brands be making like the little art thing, the little animated art, bro. Like I know a lot of people say it's actually easy to make those, bro. If you know how to make one, why are you not making why are you not making something for cloning brands? Like everybody needs help. Like I said, provide service, bro. We all need help. We all help each other. You feel me? And in exchange, we give each other money. You feel me? For example, I make fire clothes. You feel me? You don't feel like making clothes. You don't feel like putting yourself through that stress. So you buy it off of me. But then you might edit videos and I don't feel like editing. So I'm gonna pay you and you edit my videos. That's how it works. It's like exchange, bro. Money is just exchange. We don't make money. We take money from each other. Nobody makes money except the government or whatever. Like we just take money from each other. I do something, you like it, I take your money. And then you do something, I like it, you take my money. And we just exchange, bro. And the more skills and the more things you know how to do, the more money you can take from people. Because if I can edit YouTube videos, make thumbnails, make clothes, make animated videos for uh, quoting brands. Bro, I'm taking so much money from everybody. You feel me? So the more skills you know, the more money you could take. So for y'all, I'm not saying don't make a clothing brand because I just said make a clothing brand, which you should make a clothing brand. But don't get stuck into thinking making a clothing brand is the only way you can make money because there's different ways. And I know a lot of y'all people, because I was like that too. 
too. As a youngin, I had hella skills. I just knew how to do shit. I know a lot of y'all are like that. I know some of y'all play sports. Y'all done play sports, bro. But find out how you can become a coach for little kids, bro. Little nine-year-old kids. I guarantee you could do it. It's just really like you just got to get up, get off your ass, bro. Think and then go do it because there's different ways of making money out here. So, yeah. On to the next, man. I know a lot of y'all heard this one too. Drop shipping. Now, let me explain before y'all click off the video. I'm not talking about that drop shipping that y'all be seeing on YouTube when the little dude talking about, oh, are you doing drop shipping? No, I'm not talking about that. I'm not talking about none of that. All drop shipping is is I buy this iPad for $100 from somebody and then I go sell it to somebody else for $200. Profit is $100. That's all drop shipping is. You feel me? And you can do that with any and everything. I can go buy this at walmart for ten dollars and then sell it on ebay for twenty dollars right and i feel like a lot of people don't actually don't click in their head they could do that all you gotta do bro you could do this way what go on aliexpress bro go on alibaba all my coding brand owners know bro you know what i'm saying china and stuff like that they be making stuff for the low get it for the low and then sell it for more it's not that hard bro you just gotta be dedicated into doing these things drop shipping is so easy basically having a coding brand is basically drop shipping especially if you're doing pre-orders that's drop shipping you got the little picture, you got one sample, you market and market it, and then people give you their money and then you sell it for more. Bro, that's drop shipping. You already drop shipping if you have a clothing brand. So just do it with more clothes, do it with shoes. You can do it with shoes, you feel me? You can do it with necklaces, you can do it with jewelry, you can go on Amazon. I uh, hella jewelry for like, y'all know Amazon be selling a little pack of rings, right? Like these, you could buy these, like you could buy like 20 of these for like $10. Go on Depop, sell them for like 30. Sell them for 15, you got five dollar profit. Come on, bro, y'all gotta, niggas gotta think. You know what I'm saying? I feel like everybody's just trying to get like a big bunch of bread, like trying to make like 30,000 a day. Like you don't need to be doing that, bro. You don't need to be doing that. Little sales add up over time, you feel me? Always have multiple sources of incomes. Always, don't have one. Always have more. So like, so yeah, dropshipping is very, very effective. I was doing dropshipping before I started my brand. What? On Depop, I was doing crazy amount of dropshipping. Boy, what? 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 I was making bands on Depop from doing dropshipping. So, so before y'all see all this brand stuff, selling a thousand orders, all this stuff, making hella money, bro. Yes, I was in my crib dropshipping, bro, with no items, you feel me? Literally, I would get stuff from Amazon, post it on Depop, and then when somebody on Depop paid me, I would take their address, put it on Amazon, and then ship it directly to them. Come on, bro. Come on, bro. Come on, bro. And I was making money doing that, bro. I was making money by putting addresses from Depop to Amazon. Come on, bro. Screenshotting pictures of items I don't have and putting it on Depop and making money. What's your excuse? What's your excuse, bro? You feel me? Like, y'all gotta get up. There's no, there's no reason for you to be broke, bro. Come on. Get up and let's go. On to the last and final way of how I make money or how you can make money is building a following on social medias. Bro, you do not understand how much money you can gain from all these social media stuff, bro. Like, yes, social media is like, people say the root of all evil and all this stuff, but bro, the amount of checks you can get from, you feel me? Like, I built my Instagram, and I'm not gonna lie, I be getting paid for wearing certain people's clothes, bro. You feel me? And I don't charge cheap. I don't charge little hundred dollars, bro. I be in a 200, 300 range, you feel me? So basically how it works is you give me your clothes, you feel me? You pay me. And then in return, I take pictures for my audience to see in hopes for them to come buy your product, you feel me? And I'm not just gonna get free clothes because, bro, it's so easy to make a hoodie like this and pass out to everybody, bro. But when you have a little following, you have the opportunity to get the clothes plus more money you feel me because the person value you more because they need something out of you they need your audience you feel me you don't need that hoodie bro you don't you could go buy it yourself you feel me you really don't need it but you get the hoodie plus the money so like, build your following especially tiktok that's so easy to build like i got like twenty thousand followers on tiktok from like being locked in for like three months and i kind of gave up on the tiktok you know what i'm saying i kind of let it be but for three months bro you could build twenty thousand you could really build more than that because i was being inconsistent as hell you could build to 100k in like three months and then a whole bunch of brands would be dm you yo take this hoodie and put it on your thing bro be like you gotta pay me 300 dollars start getting money like these sponsors every day you start getting money hello money hello money tell you that's the way like people gonna say you get free clothes you make it free shoes you make it free products not just clothes and then you get paid for posting the product and then you have your audience and then from there, really, you can start a clothing brand and then get paid even more. You know what I'm saying? So 
To me, I would say building an audience like on any kind of social media is very, very important because the amount of money you get from it is crazy, bro. Like everything is so online now. So yeah, if you don't have an audience, if you're not on social media, or if you already have an audience and you're not thinking about ways to make money, you bugging out, bro. That be seen, especially girls not trying to come for y'all. A lot of y'all girls be posting videos of yourself, posting pictures of yourself. Y'all be having like 20k on Instagram. We hella thirsty niggas in the in the uh, comments, bro. Why are you not DMing brands talking about oh, uh, send me this and then I'll post that, blah blah blah. The more you do it, the more relationship you get with people, the more they gonna start paying you. Start using your social media, bro. Quit over here being over here trying to take pictures and then posting it for your niggas validation, bro. Go make some bread, you bugging. Go make some bread. And niggas be doing it too, bro. Niggas be doing it too. Some some dudes just be taking pictures and just going about their day just because they got hella followers, like thinking they all that. Bro, you know you can make bread from them followers? You, you ain't making no money, you have no motion. You just think because you got followers, you him. No. Go make some bread with them followers, bro. You really not him because you're not thinking like him. But yeah, y'all, with that being said, man, those are my little ways of making money, bro. I'm telling y'all, it's not hard to make money, bro. Just provide services. Do something. Do something for other people, and I guarantee you, like they say, the more energy you put out, the more you get back. So y'all just remember that when y'all do stuff for people, when you, you know what I'm saying, you out here on social media or whatever, doing stuff, bro. Just remember that, bro. Remember that. The more energy you put out, the more energy you receive you know what i'm saying so yeah with that being said thank you guys for watching this video man i hope i helped y'all now go make some bread because you're sitting in your bed and you're broke as hell you feel me if you don't have i ain't even gonna put no money to it because you never know people's situation but bro you should have some bread in, in your in your pocket you feel me you should have hella money in your pocket bro if you're broke you're lazy simple as that there's nothing else to it you don't have to make a clothing brand to be rich you don't have to make a clothing brand to have even money i'm not even rich but you don't have to have a clothing brand to make money bro you feel me go make some money quit being lazy and with that being said I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hey, yeah, it's me, your boy DRA, and I'm out.